Mike Rose the Magician, back for another installment of Fairy Tale Magic at the Library. You know, this last week I was reading a couple of fairy tales. There's this one about the goose that lays a golden egg. Have you heard of that one? Have you ever seen a golden egg? There's a couple. Yeah, golden eggs. And then this other one I was reading about Rumpelstiltskin. Have you heard of him? He was the guy that would spin straw into gold. Yeah, gold. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I need to up my game. These guys are making gold. I got to do something where I can make money appear. So that's what I'm going to do today. I invented my very own fairy tale money stick, and it makes money appear. You want to see? All right. Well, to get a good look at it, you're going to have to come down here. Perfect. And here it is. This is the very first fairy tale money stick. It's a wooden paddle shaped stick with three black rubber bands. The rubber bands go all the way around the stick and the rubber bands are to hold coins. I've got a nickel, a penny, and a dime. If I place the penny under one of the rubber bands, all I have to do is wiggle my fingers. That's it. And I've just doubled my money. I now have a duplicate of the penny on the other side. Pretty cool, huh? Watch, I'll do it again. Let's take a nickel, put it under one of the rubber bands, wiggle my fingers, and now I've doubled my money. I've got another nickel. Same thing with the dime. Slide it under there, a little wiggle, and if things have gone correctly, I've got another dime. So I've got a penny that I started with, plus the new penny, and then the nickel that I started with, plus the new nickel, and then the dime that I started with, plus the new dime that appeared right from the rubber bands. Oh, but you know, 16 cents is pretty decent profit, but it's going to take me a long time to even make enough money to buy, you know, lunch. So I thought, well, if it works with coins, maybe it works with folding money. Got some in my pocket. Fold it up and tuck it underneath the rubber bands and see if it works as well with folding money as it does with coins. All we do is wiggle the fingers. Did anything happen? It sure did. I've now got the original bill plus the other bill that appeared on the fairy tale money stick. Not too shabby. I will let you in on a little secret though. Some people think it has to do with the rubber bands. It's not the rubber bands. They're just little rubber bands. Some people think it has to do with the wooden fairy tale money stick. It's not the type of wood. It's actually done the way a lot of magic tricks are done. It's actually done with mirrors. <laughs> But don't tell anybody that's a secret. <laughs> hey, as long as you're still here, I could show you one other little bit of magic today. Doesn't use the fairy tale money stick. Instead, it uses mints. Come back down here. I want you to get a good look at this. Oh, that's better. You can see much better now. Mints. And these are colorful mints. They're pig mints. Get it? They're little pigs. Colorful pig mints. Oh, come on. That was funny in my head. Oh, but the three little pigs. Hey, that's a fairy tale. The three little pigs are incredibly fast for how small they are. If I put one, two little pigs in my hand, the third one put it in my pocket, just to show you how fast he is, two. He just went and joined the other two pigs in my hand. You didn't blink, did you? If you blink, you totally miss it. Watch, we'll do it again. One. Two, third one goes in my pocket and instantly he shoots out of my pocket back to join the other two. Even if I put one in my hand and two in my pocket, he still runs and joins the other two. Yeah, the other two in my pocket. He's not going to stay in here because over here we've got, oh, I think that might be the big bad wolf. Oh, we're back up here and I think we're just about out of time. Let me double check with the big bad wolf. What? Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yep, he says we're just about out of time. But thanks for coming in for another episode of Fairy Tale Magic at the Library. Looking forward to seeing you next time. I've been Mike Rose, and you have been. Let me check with the wolf. <coughs> he says you have been the audience. Bye.